It is you out. Do you want to kick things up a notch? Why? Fast and Furious. Oh, man. And with Dominic Toretto and everything? That's right. And I'm about to teach you a movie right now. <laughs> hey, what's up, you guys? It's me, Watcher. And today, as you guys like, if you guys, if you guys like me, I love the Fast and Furious movies. So today, we're going to take a look at a film called The Fate of the Furious on FX today. This is The Fate of the Furious, which is Fast and Furious number 8. So we're about to check it out right now for you guys. And Dizzy Chow here wants to learn about how cars speed off into one heck of a, heck of a, a thriller. So if you guys are ready, let's go. <laughs> This is taken from what what movie I think? Charlie's Angels. Wait, no, that's a that was Bad Boys for Life. I think. Let's see, I can't remember. The following program is rated TV MA LSV. It contains strong language, sexual situations, and violence. It is intended only for mature audiences. Wait, is this a rated R film, or is it PG thirteen? PG thirteen. Okay, okay. It's it's rated PG thirteen because it doesn't contain nudity. So this film is rated TV MA LSV because it contains strong language, sexual situations, and violence. It's, it's intended only for mature audiences. Wait, it's, it's, but whenever rated R comes by, it's gonna be rated. It's gonna be it's it's gonna contain nudity. So keep an eye out for these FX warnings. But USA and sci fi they don't care. I'm not gonna see the fan film, I'm just gonna I just gonna say the word. There goes the two sequels. Caption over there. Universal. A Comcast company. Small cast in Spanish. Original film, just like goosebumps. And there goes FX. One race? I didn't know that. Universal Pictures presents an association with China Film Company Limited, an original film and one race film production, and an NFK production, starring Vin Diesel, Wayne Johnson, Jason Statham, Michelle Rodriguez, Havana Cuban. Okay, we got Tyrus Gibson, Ludacris, Scott Eastwood. Natalie Emmanuel, Elsa Pataki, with Kurt Russell and Charlie Theron from Atomic Blonde. Yeah. We have Tigo. So FX, how you feel? How you feel about this movie coming back? It's really good, man. It's really good. All right, this is really interesting. It does put some hot, hot, hot chicks though. Seriously, Disney Channel? What? Wait, what's the question? The last piece of we swap parts and forth. There's no fate of Phoenix Lord at the beginning. And why? That's not a one way part. Whatever you find, I'm, that's going to be your problem. See? 